if you couldn't tell by the title, it's time for another one of those videos where I talk about how Guardian Games just isn't what it was, or why it should even really continue. So, getting on, of course, Guardian Games. It is the class versus class versus class thing. It replaced, initially, the spring event that was the Revelry, which... Among the first years, I did get why Revelry was replaced, with the mechanic around its tonic, people always selecting grenade tonics, spamming arc bolts in the crucible, I get that it was a little bit broken, and it led to three weeks of broken crucible. And I also get that with sunsetting, that the location that its um, so-called activity was located in doesn't exist anymore. We'll ignore all the Crucible and Gambit maps that exist in no longer available locations, but we'll get to that later. On that same note, yes, the planet is gone, the event was gone, and of course Crucible was broken for three weeks. So what did Bungie do? They took us to a game mode that has its own Crucible mode that takes over Crucible for the next week. Now, I know it didn't completely take over Crucible, and there's still basic control, there's still trials, there's still the maps, but... Everything event-related is either through this or the Nightfall. Which kind of gets into my next point of the game. It's obviously three, 1v3, v, er, words, 1v1v1. All the classes fighting against all the other two classes in their own rank. Now, the main problem with this is the fact that every year Bungie has actually had different ways of balancing. In the first year, because Hunter's population was so out of control, they essentially had half points while everyone had full points, which led to the Titan's landslide, which I can't say if that was exact cause or the Titans just really went hard, but that's pretty much how it went. Titans won every single day, except for one, if I recall, which I think Warlocks won a day, but you know, landslide winning regardless. Then every year since, they have tried tuning balancing based on population amounts for every respective class. Now, unfortunately, that's gotten a little bit sus, considering it literally went Titans, Hunters, Warlocks, then Titans, and based on the early week, it seems like it's going to be Hunters again, which literally makes it look like a rotation of everyone gets their win. But, from that point, we get into our next issue with Guardian Games, and that is player's choice. Now, I'm not hedging any issues here. If you had a class that you had to play specifically because you ran out of medals or ran out of bounties or had something you wanted to do but couldn't do it on that on the specific character anymore because you ran out of, like I said, acceptable bounties or just want to play something different for a little while to spice it up, I don't mind you. But the same point, I have essentially hard grinded my Titan for every year of Guardian games that I have actually participated on. Yes, I did switch once or twice, but that was literally to claim rewards on other characters and the like. Now, the main issue here is the people that will randomly choose a new class every new year and will hard main that class just for Guardian games. Yes, I am a main Titan. I have friends who are main Titans, I have friends who are main Warlocks and main Hunters. I never hear most of my friends actually talking about representing a new class because they kind of understand that the balance is contributed by people playing their main played class. That is how Bungie tries to balance things, is the main population, the main of mains. When the entire Titan population suddenly goes, oh hey, I want to have half of our guys play Hunters or Warlocks for a week. That completely throws off the population balance, because suddenly, everything looks exactly the same. So, yeah, can you kind of understand why people regularly rotating classes and deciding, Oh, I'm going to support a different class this year, hard main. That causes issues, because then the population balancing is off. And from that point, there is kind of the last issue of, specifically this year's Guardian Games. Because in the past, rewards have been, let's just say, a little lax, a little simple. There is basic rewards, there's a few weapons, you can get, well, consumables, enhancement cores, shards. And from there, they've actually expanded a little bit more for the basic stuff. You can earn freaking lots of enhancement cores, you can earn a new memento, and as far as I know, the event also allows you to earn a few ascendant materials. But the main incentive from this year has been the skimmer, which you can... Respectfully, you can buy straight up out of the store with the uh, Gellahorn set, wherever it is, right about here. Was this it? No, hang on. 
yes, right here with the Winged Wolf. It is essentially another skimmer that is Galhorn inspired, so there is one that is available at any point for purchase. But I have a feeling that most people aren't exactly giving their Mungie to- or the Mungie. They aren't giving their money to Bungie nowadays after, you know, Final Shape not being exactly what it wanted, and the various dev issues, you know, that sort of stuff. From that point as well, the incentive to earn the free one is this mission for the skimmer that is the permanent one, because you do get one for the event, but this one is one to keep year-round. Now, let's go over the three objectives, which kind of all have their own issues. First, the general medallion score. I have done maybe five hours of work on this Guardian Games, and this is how much I have. I'm 112th, not even 112th, to the total medallion score. I've even run some stuff on double Nightfall rewards, which does seem to give double silver medallions. And yes, I have been running as many Platinums as I can alongside Silvers, because pretty much the way I grind is to equip the Nightfall Platinum, earn Silver Medals from the Strikes while I'm finishing that, and roughly for every one Platinum I have two or three Silver Medals to deposit. Now, holy crap is this going to take forever! Now, literally, I'm debating just buying the Galar Wing, just to give it a simpler name, because I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, I'm simply debating buying it so I can have not only a skimmer, but frankly a better looking skimmer as, full disclosure, Guardian Games cosmetics don't always look good because they can't always shader off of the red, yellow, and blue that they incentivize putting on literally everything Guardian Games related. Then, that gets into the next part of the issue of the skimmer, 10% score, or er, top 10% score on Nightfall Challenges. That is a quick and easy one, and since the first hour of Guardian Games, every single streamer and YouTube video has been made to say this is the easy way to get it. That resulted in everyone flocking to the freaking can't, the weird competitive playlist trying to get your score. This is after a top 10% run for me, where everything was finished, no deaths, quick success. Top 60. I had a run that was only a few thousand points behind this, and it was still top 100. Everyone hunting for the skimmer at once, everyone gunning for top 10, makes sure so that top 10% is very exclusive. Because everyone is min-maxing their points. Not to mention, when eventually, there's still going to be people that earn the skimmer, but are still gunning for their best score ever, muddying up the pool for all the people that still need their 10% for the skimmer. And then that goes into the last point that is the grand snowball of this year's Guardian Games, why Hunters have taken it off the bat, and it seems like they're actually taking it back this day, as Titans were winning just a moment ago, and now Hunters are in the top place. Now, getting into the other thing, on their twid, they literally said the daily focus activity is a big balance point for who can win. Now the focus activity, it appears every few hours and uh, once or twice or three or four times a day, but basically when it's running, it's a high, or let's just say it's a double points area. You can earn a bunch of rewards, get point thresholds and the like, and you know, stuff like that. Now, it runs every few hours, but it also is very limited. It's active at random intervals of the day, honestly, it feels like, but it's also got, according to Bungie, a heavy influence on the daily winnings. Now, this is in, con uh, how do I say this? This is in connection with the skimmer quest, because the last one is or er, open focus activity winners packages. Basically, when you participate, whoever, or whichever class won in the focus activity, if you participated and you are of that class, you get a winning package. Which, from there, you get progress on that thing. And for the first few weeks, hunters were kind of break out and constantly doing it. And in order to earn their winner's packages, a lot of people just played hunter so they could contribute to that and get their skimmer. And similarly so, from that point, they always win focus activity standings. Then they keep winning, they influence the daily wins, and suddenly, before long, hunters are pretty much in the lead, almost non-contested. You see what I mean? It snowballs. People see how to get skimmer. One version takes forever. The other version is nigh impossible. The other version is simple enough, you just have to play when the activity is active. But then when people see that hunters are the only class that's winning, people only play hunters, and then hunters are generally the only ones that win. 
there's lots of different incentives for Guardian games that generally there isn't any general class that should get it. Before, when you just ranked up and went up the podiums, you could play any class and get platinum scores. And you can earn all your weapons, all your masterworks, all your enhancement cores. Everything was earned regardless of class. And now the skimmer, which is honestly the hot topic of this year's Guardian games, because a lot of people have been saying it brings the fun back to Destiny. Well, guess what? It's practically not obtainable unless you snowball and just jo jump on the wagon and play Hunter. Literally, only the last two days have there been anything different than Hunter's winning. And even still, it looks like that was short-lived. So, yeah, that's another one of my Guardian Games rants. I might be a channel that becomes known for generally not liking Guardian Games. And full disclosure, I do think it needs a different event for our spring thing. Because it sounded fun at the start, but it has been the same thing every year. Bad balancing, landslide victories. Last year was the most competitive year, but even still, it didn't really look that competitive. It just looked like they were like, alright, give three to Hunters, give two to Warlocks, give four to Titans, give one to Hunters, give two to Warlocks. You know, how they just spread it out sort of evenly. But yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, I'm not going to be one of those people talking about the um, the problem without talking about solution. But yeah, honestly, aside from Revelry returning in a new way, a new spring event, and just kiboshing this one, or just Bungie goes back to the first year balancing and leaving everything else alone, and maybe not have a daily focus zone be the end-all be-all of, uh, you know, winning the games... Maybe that's some of the options they can go with, but it really, this event just seems really skewed for any one way. And the main ev main reward for everything kind of contributes to that mostly. That, my name is Matt Scorpion, I will see you in the next video.